What's up everyone, it's Tech Trooper 64 and today the developers of Injustice 2 has confirmed that they're trying to take a different approach, a more aggressive approach, towards DLC for Injustice 2. Injustice 2 will feature plenty of additional characters following the game's launch, as NetherRealm's creative director Ed Boon has confirmed that the studio is taking a more aggressive approach when it comes to DLC. One of the things we've been trying to do trying to do more and more with every game is to support it for a long period of time, Boone told IGN. With DLC characters, we've had four Mortal Kombat, six Injustice, and eight with Mortal Kombat X. And with just Injustice 2, we plan on continuing that pattern, he said, noting that it will be certainly more aggressive than we've been in the past. Boone also spoke about the game's new gear system, which allows players to customize their character, suggesting the team is considering a pay-to-unlock model for those who don't have the time to earn all the rewards by just playing the game. We have ideas in our heads that we'd like to consider, but certainly we haven't like nailed down this is going to be the way we're going to do it. Ideally, to me, the whole purpose of this feature is customization, longevity, and ongoing model molding of your characters, so to speak. So it'll be interesting to see how Injustice 2 will perform or how it'll play out when the game comes out sometime this year or next year. Actually, I think they said it was coming out in 2017. Anyway, so let me know in the comments down below. Are you guys excited for Injustice 2 or are you going to skip over it? And if you played the first Injustice, how did you like it? Be sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.